Welcome back to another video here on the second channel where we have some new Hightower news. We're quickly starting off with something from nine days ago. I didn't make its own video about this just because it would be very brief and this is one of those things you want to go check out yourself if you're interested in it. We have some concept art time lapses which have been uploaded to their YouTube channel. You can watch them on the blog as well and there are some interviews with the artists as well. The art here is absolutely gorgeous and fascinating. There are two zones that we get to see an idea of what they'll feel like through the concept art and then we have a character known as Varan. It certainly looks like a really cool character and it doesn't go into too much detail about it but it does say it's going to be an important character in the storyline so looks really cool and can't wait can't wait to learn more about that. But anyway the main thing we're covering in this video is this latest post about the block tech of the game. That's the blocks that exist inside of the game and how we will have creative control over them. So the first thing it talks about are the RGB tints. You can see here that there are some extreme color examples of how regular texture of the block has been taken and then given a tint. That's a color applied to it. And RGB stands for red, green and blue. Now a more palatable, real world scenario if you like example of that is just here where the grass changes from a more lime color into a more teal color and the leaves change as well and this is an example of how you'd use it to color biomes for example and basically the blocks in the world you will have complete control over the RGB tint if you're coming from the creative perspective you know putting a world together doing textures and all that kind of stuff now there are going to be transition textures as you can see here as well I think the angle of this image might make it look like there is a flat line between them here I'm not sure if we're going to be given control over this from the player's perspective but anyway the idea is that on some level you'll be able to have transitional textures to help things like grass and sand not look so linear next to each other and the way it words it is that builders can use this feature now do they mean builders inside of the game like I could plop down some sand next to some grass and then say let's have a nice border or do they mean people building the worlds having control over the textures from that perspective not entirely sure but this looks really nice and I think it just suits the look of the game ever so well. Uh, down here we have more information about the block models so you might think of the blocks as just being uh, flat squares but if we look at this video what we will find is animated blocks that are more than just the cube. You see these ores that are sticking out of the block here they're actually part of the block so the block model can be more than just a regular block and that allows for caving when you're exploring to have these ores sticking out of the wall and their textures can be animated. It's really fascinating it looks absolutely gorgeous uh, then over here we have submersible blocks basically blocks can be submerged inside of water and any block in the game can be and the creator of a world will have control over that so again on the creative side where you're building all the parts of your world custom textures custom block models etc you'll have control over your block and if it's able to be submerged in water so it looks like these plants do here and the way they've done it it looks really gorgeous I must say very nice uh, look to it anyway scrolling further down we have varied foliage this one is kind of self-explanatory you've got those gorgeous looking leaves where it's not just a, a block it's got some bits of textures coming off the side as well there are many mods to do this in Minecraft so it will probably look uh, quite familiar to you then we have ambient animations another video we want to get this one playing in full screen so you can see that the grass is slightly swaying in the wind and then our player when it moves through it affects the grass as well it kind of pushes the grass out to either side that is some gorgeous gorgeous effects right there it looks really well done so that's fantastic and uh, I can't quite remember if it said you'll have complete control over that or not but I wouldn't be surprised if you were able to have some sort of control over when these types of things happen or not in the world. The next one though you will get complete control over this is particle effects and the way that particle effects is done it's on an event system based around a block so this means you're putting your own custom block into the world you could say when a player places this block down use this particle effect when they remove it use this one and if they walk on it or they interact with it basically any type of way you can interact with a block will be customizable with the particle effect that accompanies that doesn't mean you have to use a particle effect every time again they're giving us so much control over what happens inside of the game so the level of depth and detail for custom experiences is just going to be through the roof and um, blocks can also be animated as well as you'll see here we have some doors which are blocks but they come with an animation when they're interacted with and that's just gorgeous and again this whole game is modular so all of the things that I'm talking about can probably be all applied together you could create a block 
give it your own texture, it could have an animation, it could have a shape that's bigger than a block and particle effects when you interact with it. The control we're going to be given over this game is absolutely stunning. And uh, that kind of brings us to the end of the article here though and I guess that means the end of the video. The excitement is high, everything about this game is just sounding absolutely fantastic. If you want to check out the Hightail blog there'll be a link to it in the description box down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.